Okay. So here we are. It's that time of year again. Time for everyone to get their taxes done. But I am here to help you today, okay? Alright. So, hopefully, it looks as though you have brought me everything that I will need to get your taxes done. So I don't think that it will be complicated at all. I can easily walk through everything with you. of our time. It's a questionnaire and I will be asking you lots of questions but you should easily be able to answer them, okay? to be a lot of questions, but I believe a lot of the questions do not pertain to your particular tax situation. The receipts. I will get to those later. Okay. All right, so let's up 
open up your file here. personal information ready to go, but I need to confirm. So the first few pages are all about your personal information, okay? Okay, so um, let's see, did your marital status change in 2022? Okay, are you married? All right, so do you and your spouse want to file separate returns? Okay. Uh, um, let's see, are you in a domestic partnership, civil union, or other state-defined relationship? Can you or your spouse be claimed as a dependent by another taxpayer? Okay. Do you or your spouse serve in the military or were you or your spouse on active duty? And this is for the 2022. Okay. Okay, moving on to dependents. Were there any changes in dependents from the prior year? What did we have? Let me make sure we have your dependents on file here. Okay, yes we do. Alright, let's see. Um, did you or your spouse pay for child care while you or your spouse worked or looked for work? Do you have any children under age 18 with unearned income more than $1,100? Do you have any children age 18 or student children aged 19 to 23 who did not provide more than half of their cost of support with earned income? and that have unearned income of more than $1,100. No. Did you adopt a child or begin adoption proceedings? Are any of your dependents non-U.S. citizens or non-U.S. residents? Okay, this is a few questions about health care. Open up that section here. Okay. Okay, so did you obtain health care coverage through the marketplace? All right, let's see. This one does not pertain to you. Did you, your spouse, or a dependent have health care purchased through the marketplace and for whom you did not receive Form 1095A? Oh, let me see. Form 1095A. This one here. Okay. Yeah, some uh, insti 
institutions will send out paper copies of all the documents required for your taxes. However, some may get lost in the mail, or some only choose to provide digital copies that you need to obtain online. Okay, alright. So that's a no. Did you receive Form 1095A for someone claimed as a dependent on another taxpayer's return or who is filing their own return and is not claimed as a dependent on another taxpayer's return? Well, are any of your dependents required to file a tax return? Okay. Page one. Okay. Page two is continued health care questions. Was anyone covered uh, on your health insurance policy also covered on another health insurance policy for any part of the year? No. Will you be eligible for employer-sponsored health care coverage? Yes. Did you or your spouse have any transactions pertaining to a health savings account or an HSA? Okay, and you should have some forms for that. Uh, if you received a distribution from an HSA, Please include all forms, 1099 SA. So I do believe that you had a copy of that. Did you or your spouse have any transactions pertaining to a medical savings account? Hmm? Oh, that does not apply to you. Did you or your spouse receive any distributions from long-term care insurance contracts? No. Let's see. If you or your spouse are self-employed, are you or your spouse eligible to be covered under an employer's health plan at another job? Okay. And for how many months of the year were you covered? Okay. Now, if you or your spouse are self-employed, are you or your spouse eligible to be covered under an employer's long-term care plan at another job? Okay. Did you or your spouse lose your job because of foreign competition and pay for your own health insurance? Okay. So now the next section is a short section. And it's on education. Okay. So let's see. Did you, your spouse, or your dependents incur any post-secondary education expenses such as tuition? Okay. Did you or your spouse pay any student loan interest? Did you or your spouse withdraw any amounts from your IRA to pay for higher education expenses incurred by you, your spouse, your children, or grandchildren? Okay. 
did you or your spouse withdraw any amounts from a Coverdale Education Savings Account or Qualified Education Program? That is the Section 529 plan. Okay. And uh, if yes, so we don't need that one. Alright, so now we're moving on to deductions and credits. and credits. Did you or your spouse contribute property other than cash with a fair market value of more than 5000 to a charitable organization? Okay, let's see. P.S. for one appraisal. Publicly. No. Don't need that. Did you or your spouse incur any casualty or theft losses? Okay. Did you or your spouse make any large purchases such as motor vehicles and boats? Okay, that was that's okay. And let's see, did you or your spouse incur any casualty or loss? attributable to a federally declared disaster? Okay. Did you or your spouse purchase a new alternative technology vehicle including a qualified plug-in electric drive motor vehicle? Okay. And did you or your spouse use gasoline or special fuels for business or farm purposes other than for a highway vehicle?
topic that we'll be going over are investments. Did you or your spouse have any debts cancelled, forgiven, or refinanced? Did you or your spouse start or purchase a business, rental property, or farm, or acquire any new interest in any partnership or S corporation? Okay. Did you or your spouse sell an existing business, rental property, farm, or any existing interest in a partnership or S corporation? Okay. Did you or your spouse sell, exchange, or purchase any real estate? Okay. Did you or your spouse receive grants of stock options from your employer, exercise any stock options granted to you or your spouse, or dispose of any stock acquired under a qualified employee stock purchase plan? Did you or your spouse engage in any uh, put or call transactions? Did you or your spouse close any open short sales? No. And lastly here, did you or your spouse sell any securities not reported on Form 1099-B? No. Okay. Okay, great. Now the next section here is on retirement and severance. Okay. okay, just a few questions here. Did you or your spouse contribute to a Roth IRA or convert an existing IRA into a Roth IRA? Did you or your spouse roll into a Roth IRA, any distributions from a retirement plan, an annuity plan, tax shelter annuity, or deferred compensation plan? Did you or your spouse make a qualified charitable contribution? Did you or your spouse retire or change jobs? Okay. Last question here. Did you or your spouse receive deferred retirement or severance compensation? Okay. Let's see if you have the day in here. Okay. are all pertaining to your personal residence. Okay. Okay. Did your address change? Okay. Yes. No. No. Okay. Did you or your spouse claim a home buyer credit for a home purchased in 2008? No. Did you or your spouse withdraw any amounts from your individual retirement account or Roth IRA to acquire a principal residence? Are your t- 
total mortgages on your first and or second residence greater than 750000 Here, did you put a place to go? Home equity loan. No, that does not pertain to you. Did you or your spouse have an outstanding home equity loan at the end of the year? Okay. Are you claiming a I'm sorry, a deduction for mortgage interest paid? to a financial institution and someone else received the form 1098? Yes, I believe you provided that form already. Yes, I think that's don't have very many uh, documents for me, so you're pretty much answering uh, no to many of the questions, so that's how I know this will not be a very complicated tax return. You did not sell your home, right? Okay. Did you sell your home? Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did you receive one tonight? Did you ask? Did you spouse? Let's see if I'm here. Did you? No, no, no. Spouse sold. Okay, let's see. Did you or your spouse ever rent out the property? Did you or your spouse ever use any portion of the home for business purposes? Okay. Have you or your spouse sold a principal residence within the last two years? Okay, let's see the No, that does not pertain to you. Okay, now we're going to move on to the topic of gifts. Okay. Good. Did you or your spouse make any gifts including birthday, holiday, anniversary, graduation, education savings, etc. with a total value in excess of $15,000 to any individual? Okay. Did you or your spouse make any gifts of difficult to value assets such as non-publicly traded stock to any person regardless of value? 
did you or your spouse make any gifts to a trust for any amount? Okay. Did you or your spouse have a life insurance trust? Did you or your spouse assist with the purchase of any asset, auto or home, for any individual? Okay. Did you or your spouse forgive any indebt indebtedness to any individual, trust, or entity? Alright. Okay. Let's see, we just have... few more topics here. This will all be pertaining to foreign matters. Did you or your spouse perform any work outside of the United States or pay any foreign taxes? Okay. Were you or your spouse a grantor or transferer for a foreign trust? Have any interest in or a signature authority over a bank account, securities account, or other financial account in a foreign country? Okay. Did you or your spouse create or transfer money or property to a foreign trust? Okay. Did you or your spouse own any foreign financial assets? Uh, let's see, were you or your spouse subject to the transition tax on undistributed foreign income and elect to pay the tax in installments? Mm -hmm. Did you or your spouse have an interest in an S-corporation that had undistributed foreign income subject to the transition tax. Okay. Let's see if he has to the corporation says to be in a corporation and he has what's it to have a spouse transfer to his shares. Okay. No. Okay. So these do not apply to you. Okay. 
Okay. Did you or your spouse engage in any bartering transactions? Okay. Uh, let's see. Were you or your spouse notified by the IRS or other taxing authority of any changes in prior year returns? Okay, that's good. Uh, for any trust that you or your spouse created or are trustee, did any beneficiaries, grantors, or trustees die or move? Okay. Did you or your spouse sell, acquire, or exchange Bitcoin or other virtual currencies? or engage in any sales or exchanges denominated in Bitcoin or other virtual currencies. Okay. Did you or your spouse receive an economic impact payment? Okay. Yes, you would have documentation of that. Do you know if you provided that already? Okay. All right, so we'll take a look at that. Okay. If self-employed, were you unable to work due to contracting COVID-19, being in quarantine, or isolation due to COVID-19, caring for an individual who contracted COVID-19, or was in quarantine due to COVID-19, or due to caring for a son or daughter because the child's school or child care provider was closed or unavailable due to COVID-19 precautions. Okay. Did you or your spouse take out a payroll protection program loan? Expenses paid in the production program. Okay. That does not apply. Yes, yes, it's reported. Uh, let's see if yes. Seeking forgiveness. No. If no, answer the amount of the loan. Like you have some uh, medical 
cost receipts. Okay. This one as well. And these are receipts for miscellaneous purchases. Seems to be mostly okay, mostly medical receipts, and these are all receipts that you did not use your health savings account for, right? Okay. So let me go through here and just um, make a quick tally of these numbers here. These are all for the energy efficient upgrades that you made to your home. Total there, medical 
costs. Okay. Okay, so let's Grab your folder once again. of a good portion done today. Uh, I don't think that we're going to get much further today together. I'm going to have to go over all of this information and I think I have everything that I need seems. Make sure here. Okay. We've got this document. It's complete. so much. I will 
be contacting you soon.